Western Star has revealed its 5700 XE in the United States, claiming the Aerodynamic Prime Mover is the world's first extreme efficiency truck. But aside from that, Elon Musk also said that the semi is a groundbreaking semi truck that could defeat any diesel truck on the market. It, it blows my mind, I think it'll blow yours. Starting with performance. So how can a new electric truck like the Semi do that? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel, friends. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. As one of the most popular models created by Western Star, how much does the Western Star 5700 XE cost? And how much cheaper is it than the Tesla Semi? You can find these rigs for relatively affordable prices. If you decide to go for the new 5700 XE model, the price will be closer to $160,000, depending on the options. These trucks can be outfitted with a number of additions for added comfort and utility, making the new price listing a starting point. In contrast, when Tesla planned to offer the semi with a quad motor powertrain, it was expected that the base price was going to be $150,000 for the 300 mile version and $180,000 for the 500 mile version. That's a pretty good deal for all-electric truck that comes with autopilot as standard and only consumes less than two kilowatt hours per mile. Most notably, it costs $20,000 to reserve a Tesla Semi, which is a lot. Even the Tesla Cybertruck with an MSRP ranging from forty dollars to 70000 only costs $100 to pre-order. Aside from the price, another very important aspect is the interior. So what are the differences between the long-standing manufacturer Western Star and the new up-and-coming truck manufacturer Tesla? Inside, this this truck is unmistakably a Western Star. The most notable is a redesigned wood and leather steering wheel with controls placed at the driver's fingertips that allows the driver to scroll through the information on the driver display, flash the marker lights, or control the cruise, Bluetooth, radio, etc. However, while other models have transitioned to a more automotive-styled driver environment, the 5700XE is a pure truck. The signal light stalk is heavy, the gauges are large, and the dash has a classic driver-friendly layout. The driver display area is small compared to other models, which limits the likelihood of distraction and also helps retain the classic look of the interior. So what makes the interior of the Tesla Semi so special? It's unique, a central driver position that looks more suited to a Formula One car than a heavy goods vehicle is said to provide maximum visibility and control to the driver, while a low center of gravity is designed to offer rollover protection in the event of an accident. Besides that, it features a red seatbelt. Premium. Behind the driver's seat, there are two additional foldable seats. There are also two 15-inch touch screens on the two extreme ends of the dashboard. Each infotainment screen also functions as a digital mirror to help eliminate blind spots. A dedicated space becomes even more important when truckers spend long hours on the road, giving them a spot to rest or at least disengage for a bit to recharge. That being said, how will the sleeping areas of the Western Star 5700XE and the Tesla Semi stack up. The Western Star 5700XE is available in several sleeper configurations, including 34-inch, 40-inch, 54-inch, 68-inch, and 82-inch in low-roof, high-roof stratosphere, and ultra-high-roof stratosphere. Wheelbases up to 250 inches are standard specs. Longer wheelbases are available with engineering approval. Western Star's all-new interior is planned with comfort, space, and storage to spare. With four sleeper models, five roof heights, and a high-quality walkthrough design, you can outfit your truck exactly how you want. Add to that a variety of upgraded material and color options and you have the kind of workplace you've always wanted. After all, it's your truck. It should fit you, not the other way around. Videos and pictures have failed to reveal the sleeper cab portion of the Tesla Semi, however, but given that the Tesla Semi can drive for long periods without stopping, there is a need for a sleeper. The automaker told attendees at the reveal event that its designers are considering some type of sleeper model in the future, which would extend the cabin length but not the overall truck length. So when exactly will that future come? Will the Semi's final launch design have a sleeper area, or will that even be further off? Why wasn't this considered in the first place, in a cab that was clearly designed to maximize comfort and productivity? This brings us to the next big question. How are the exteriors of the two cars designed to match the interiors? The 5700XE is a truck that, when seen from the exterior, will steal your attention for more than a moment. It somehow manages to skew the 
rounded jelly bean styled design of other leading models while attaining fuel economy that the EPA considers good enough. The Western Star Cab is known for its steep windshield, which is not exactly conducive to aerodynamics. However, engineers discovered ways to help push the air up over that windshield. The most visible of these enhancements is a kick panel on the hood just before the windshield that directs air up and over the cab. This air ramp, if you will, doesn't impact visibility over the hood as long as your seat is properly positioned. For comparison, there is a massive wraparound glass area up front that slopes into the trunk of the Tesla Semi. The glass area is so large that the panels reach all the way to the doors. Cameras positioned at the extreme rear send a feed to the interior screens. Diesel trucks usually have enormous grills to maximize airflow to the high cubic capacity engines. The Tesla Semi, being an EV, has its nose blanked off, while its chin houses a relatively small air intake to cool the battery, which sits between the front and rear axles. But in the end, trucks are only as good as their ability to do what they are designed to do, which is being able to hold an enormous amount of stuff and their ability to transport that stuff around. So which one can pull this off more efficiently? The maximum weight for a semi-truck with a loaded trailer, legally allowed in the United States, is 80,000 pounds, while the curb weight of the Western Star 5700 XE is about 17,000 pounds with minimal fuel, making it very competitive with many high-end on-highway trucks. The total weight of the semi is also under speculation, as Tesla's website says the semi is fully loaded at 82,000 pounds. That 82,000 pound mark is the upper legal limit of what an electric semi-truck can weigh on public roads. The question lies in how much the truck itself weighs. People suggest that the electric semi's unladen weight is around 27,000 pounds, meaning that it weighs 10,000 pounds more than the 5700 XE. So yeah, the weight of a load will vary dramatically. For example, a load of potato chips will weigh significantly less than a load of bottled water. So then how would the semi's motor compare to that of the 5700 XE? The 5700 XE can be specced out with Detroit DD13, DD15, or 16 engine, power ranging from 350 to 600 horsepower and up to 2,050 pound-feet of torque. For maximum efficiency, the 5700 XE can be kitted with the integrated Detroit powertrain, which features the new downsped DD15 engine rated at 400 horsepower and 1,750 pound-feet of torque. A direct-drive Detroit DT12 automated manual transmission with intelligent powertrain management and matched Detroit front and rear axles. The tri-motor system, one of them is constantly engaged, so that's for maximum efficiency. You're getting on a highway. The Tesla Semi tri-motor powertrain system has one motor that will carry the load the majority of the time, as it's mainly for highway driving. That efficient motor is approximately the size of a football. The other two are for torque and acceleration. Those motors use the system straight out of the Model S Plaid powertrain, except the Semi can physically disengage two motors when they're not in use. The drive unit in a Tesla Semi has an output of 1,020 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque. The Semi is more powerful than the 5700 XE with an added 620 horsepower. Now, for truckers, the range would be a primary concern. So what is the true range of the Tesla Semi? Tesla has addressed range anxiety comprehensively. There are two versions of the Semi, one that provides 300 miles of range and one that delivers 500 miles. Tesla is now shipping the 500 mile Semi. The embedded time-lapse video shows a fully loaded tri-motor Semi driving 500 miles on a single charge. The claimed figure seems more than adequate given the United States rules for truckers. In the US, truck drivers are legally required to take a 30-minute break after 8 hours of driving, according to the United States Department of Transportation. 400 miles is the distance truckers typically cover in 8 hours, approximately, according to Tesla. But which truck would be considered safer? Additional safety features found in the 5700 XE include Meritor Wabco on-lane lane departure warning system. Audible directional warning signals let the driver know if the truck's course needs to be corrected. Meritor Wabco on-guard adaptive cruise control. Using onboard sensors and working with conventional cruise controls, the 5700 XE will automatically adjust vehicle speed to maintain the set cruise speed and a safe distance from vehicles in front of it. Meritor Wabco on-guard collision mitigation system. This radar-based system provides visual and audible driver alerts through an in-cab dash display when the vehicle's following distance could result in a rear-end collision. If the driver doesn't take action, on-guard's active braking automatically dethrottles the engine and activates the service brakes. Intelligent Powertrain Management, or IBM, a feature of the DT12 transmission, which is 
standard on the 5700XE, IPM uses GPS and pre-loaded terrain maps to evaluate the road profile up to 3 miles in advance and determine the most fuel-efficient vehicle operation, including vehicle speed, transmission gear, and engine RPM. Another nice feature available on the Western Star 5700XE is the brake system. ABS brakes with electronic stability and roll stability control. Working together, the 5700XE's ABS with electronic stability and roll stability control stabilize the truck and can help reduce rollovers, skidding, and spinouts. But what about the semis technology? But the reliability has to be extremely high. So it's got to, got to be running continuously, can't break down. The Tesla Semi was slated to feature the brand's enhanced autopilot suite of features as standard. We've yet to receive confirmation that this has occurred. The range of safety features includes automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning, and automatic lane keeping assist. If the Semi senses no driver input, it stays in the lane, comes to a slow and gradual halt, and automatically dials an emergency number. Last March, Tesla filed a patent for an automatic tire inflation system, which is perfect for Semi trucks. The system allows the driver to adjust tire pressure pressure on the go. But what braking system does the Semi use? The Semi would have regenerative braking in its arsenal. Trucks put brakes to the test because they haul so much weight. But again, like other Teslas, the brakes will be used as generators and put energy back into the battery. Brake pads literally last forever, said Musk. Removing the internal combustion engine also means there is no transmission to maintain, emissions scrubber, or differential. Does the Semi have any other outstanding features? One of the biggest rumors ahead of the Semi's announcement was that fleet operators would be able to send multiple rigs out on the highway in a platoon formation. The lead vehicle acts as a windbreak for the rigs behind it, allowing them to expend less energy on the road. The technique depends on the lightning-quick reactions of Tesla's self-driving system rather than the slower, more variable reflexes of human drivers. The technique was demonstrated by Mercedes-Benz in Europe last year, when three of its prototype self-driving semi-trucks drove the 375-mile trip from Stuttgart to Rotterdam in platoon formation. Musk mentioned multiple semis driving in convoys, but nothing specifically about platoons. Once autopilot matures, we're guessing the trucks will gain this ability. Now, what's the semi like in the real world? With a red and yellow paint scheme, PepsiCo's Tesla Semi is already doing business on America's roads. Following the American manufacturer's delivery event at the beginning of December, O'Connell, who oversees PepsiCo's fleet, said that the semi can haul Frito-Lay food products for around 400 125 miles, but that for heavier loads of sodas, the trucks will be deployed on shorter 100-mile trips. With an estimated range of 500 miles carrying a load, the Tesla Semi has a reported battery capacity of 1 megawatt hours and a charging rate of up to 1 megawatt. With an estimated 15 million trucks on U.S. roads, Tesla has some way to go before it takes a big share of the market, but the company is keen to chip away at that figure. The race to bring electric trucks to the road is heating up, and the trucking industry as a whole will be hoping that the competition will help improve efficiency and drive down costs. How do you feel about today's matchup between the Tesla Semi and the Western Star 5700XE? Which of these two would you consider superior? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date, to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, thank you so much. And until the next time we meet, take care and be safe.